Let's compare the Intel score i5-660K with the i7-4770A4770. One thing you need to notice is this is a key part in the in its suffix, which means that it supports the overclocking. Uh, I5-6600K is the newer Skylac processor launched just recently in Q third quarter of 2015 as we make this video. The i7-4770 is the Haswell processor. It's launched in second quarter of 2015, more than two years ago. Uh, so the basic difference between these two processors is the support for the hyper threading in the Haswell i7 processor. We have eight hyper threads versus four threads in terms of the Skylac 660K. And the hyper threading support, it uh, gives parallelism to the execution for each core. It can identify the idle periods and insert another process in that idle period. And that's how it gets uh, extra 15 to 18% performance improvement. In terms of clock frequency, they're about the same. We have a we have a break base clock frequency 3.5 gigahertz versus 3.4 gigahertz in Haswell, and the max turbo clock frequency is the same. So, the frequency being the same, the main difference would be the support for hyper threading, and the second difference that we see is the um, cache memory. It's 8 MB for 4770 versus 6 MB for i5-6600K. Uh, so that cache is going to drive up the performance by maybe another 20% or so. So these two are going to be the main two differences that's going to um, to make this i7-4770 better. Before we go to the uh, benchmark result, we'll take a look at a couple of other things. The one is, of course, we have also seen that the key part is overclockable. The in terms of uh, the integrated graphics, both of the Skylac comes with the newer and slightly faster HD graphics 530, while 4770 has the older uh, HD graphics 4600. The Skylac has a support for newer DDR4 memory that works at lower 1.2 volt versus the 4770 is still supporting the support the DDR3 at 1.5 volt. So the performance as of now is same for both DDR3 and DDR4, but DDR4 consumes uh, lower power because it works in the lower voltage and the lower voltage, the voltage, the lower the power it consumes and because of which it's not very important in the desktop, but still it's a one factor that you want to notice. Now coming to the Pass marker score, we have a uh, score of 9854 for Haswell 4774 and uh, looking at the 6600K, it's 7833. So the Haswell processor is going to be uh, faster um, and that's, uh, that's going to be of the order of about 20% or so. Thanks for taking a look.